Last time out, we finally replaced our rotten aft bulkhead. Having cut, tested, and installed new buttons for our wonky cockpit, it's finally in place, and now it's time to dress it up. Hello folks, and welcome back. Hopefully I'm gonna make up for the lost footage from the end of last week. What it was basically was me mixing and applying our homemade fairing compound to this here part of the bulkhead as an experiment. It's set up beautifully. Now today I was gonna build a door for this door shaped hole that we've got in the bulkhead but unfortunately the ply that I was going to use has warped so what I am going to do today actually is to knock this back and see how good we can get the finish just on this small section here and whether it's worth carrying on mixing fairing compound for the rest of the panel so I am going to go and get the orbital sander and some various grits of paper um, and see how we get on well this is absolutely wonderful news i've done about three quarters of an hour 40 minutes of polishing and yes there are still low spots but that shine way exceeds what i was expecting what i'm going to do now i'm going to mix up some more fairing compound and record it properly this time so I'm sure people will want to know how you get a finish like this in less than an hour. <laughs> it's absolutely bloody ridiculous. I can't stop looking at it. It's wonderful news. It's really cheered me up. Um, but I'm going to mix more up. And I'm going to fill the low spots. Um, and uh, do some more on the bulkhead. Because there's still quite a bit more of it needs, uh, needs covering. Okay. So we have everything here, I believe. We have polyester gel coat. We have 3M glass bubbles, we have a mixing cup, we have styrene in wax and we have mech and we have a measuring cup for our glass balls which we will use to scoop them out of the pot and put them in the mix. Now something I did learn last time was do not mix this in large batches so I'm going to do this 200 mil at a time. Now it is a sunny day today but that's all right there's no point in us chasing around like morons trying to stay out of the sun there's another tip always have a pack of uh, hand wipes or baby wipes available so that you can get gel coat off of your hands or if you get too much of it on your gloves you can just scoosh it off a little bit I've already given this gel coat a good shake and a mix so we're gonna have 200 mil ish it's just a teeny bit over but that's okay we can live with that we don't want to be stingy do we my darlings get the lid back on there we don't want flyers getting in there right so now uh, we want two percent wax in styrene so that's going to be four mil and believe it or not this is at four mil already, so let's pour that in. That was a stroke of luck, wasn't it, kids? So that's wax. And we want 2% of mech as well. And then we'll give it a stir before we add in our lovely glass balls. There we go. Always lid up before you move on to the next step let's give this a damn good stir now you will find the wax does take a fair bit of mixing in but it will get there eventually now according to the side of this tin of gel coat two percent gives me 20 minutes before it hits gel time at 20 degrees it's a little bit over that so I would imagine it will be more like 15 minutes maybe. And of course agitating it, mixing it in, is going to make it a little bit more reactive. Now I'm going to go for the same volume of glass spheres as we have resin. So that's just over 200 mil again. So let's mix that in. Now if I was doing this inside, I would definitely have a face mask on. But the wind is being my friend today. 
so I'm not overly worried about it. We will have to put more in. When I did the first lot, I did it just the same volume because I was rather stupid and did 300 mil of gel coat and I couldn't fit any more glass. I couldn't fit any more of the bubbles into the pot. But hopefully we'll avoid that this time by doing just over 200 mil because I do want this a little bit thicker because there's a few bits along the join with the top sides that need a, just a touch of filling in. And it's very much like mixing in colloidal silica. You have to fold it in and once it starts going, you're in the right place, but it does take a little while to really get it on. It's one of the toughest jobs on a fiberglass boat is getting gel coat components especially panels which have a high surface area looking good and flat and shiny this is now looking pretty good wouldn't mind it being a winchy bit thicker but let's just make sure it's properly oh yeah actually give it a bit more of a mix Oish. very much like thickened yogurt I do want a little bit more I want that to be a little bit thicker so let's just give it another 150 200 again fold it in and just try and mix it in because it will just fly everywhere fold it in so I'm going to say that three times the amount of gel coat is probably the limit. Ah, now look at that. It's a bit more of a mix. And we're pretty much there, I think. Beautiful. Oh, this is really getting to be hard work to mix now, which is probably where we want to be. And yeah, now that looks more like fairing compound. So let us move across the bulkhead and I've got my paddle so we will just pour a bit on because what I'm doing with this first bit is filling the low spots in what we've already done That's this uh, bulkhead exterior absolutely smothered in thickened gel coat fairing compound that I mixed up as explained earlier. That's not really going to be sandable until late evening and I'm going to be long gone by then. Um, so I'm just going to let it set up um, and come back tomorrow and fair it. So one thing we're definitely going to need is some steps to come down here. So I've just cut a doorstep which fits nicely and I've rooted out for it to sit in the wood on the bulkhead 
and I've also cut out two steps of the same size. So what I'm going to cut out of this sheet of ply is a nice wedge and the, uh, the step for the, uh, for the door step will be here, second step here, third step here. I don't think it's going to take too long for me to cut this out. Um, I probably won't get, well I definitely won't get it finished tonight because it will need resin and then uh, gel coat on it to absolutely seal it and make sure it fits in with everything else and also I can't permanently fit it because I haven't gel coated the inside of the bulkhead yet or indeed put the second layer of glass up that's a job for either later this week or next week um, but let's rattle on see how far I can get with this so there we go there's all the parts for the steps which will lead us comfortably into the cockpit without straining our knees and ankles and ice cream men. Um, it's actually good. I'm really looking forward to getting that in actually. It will eat up a little bit of workroom in here, but the days where I've gone home and my knees have been giving out. So it'll be good to get that all done. Um, I will do the resining, coat the morning resin thoroughly, having done any final shaping sanding and stuff and get those in tomorrow uh, meanwhile let's look, should we have a look and see how this stuff's set up feels quite good so this is actually setting up beautifully no tack thanks to the wax in styron i cannot emphasize how important that is too much it's uh, it's vital that you put the wax and styrene in to uh, make sure the gel coat cures up with no tack so the wax has migrated out onto the surface as it's supposed to do and you wouldn't know that wasn't wood you know that's wonderful i can see there's a bit there's some bits on the new fill which are going to need filling because they're clearly low spots like i said earlier i don't mind that you are always going to have to go back once twice even three four times it really depends on what level of cosmetic quality you want on the finish and we want a good finish. Um, the bits up there that I filled are okay, There's a couple of bits going to need reworking but nothing too bad so all in all a positive day, lots of filling, a little bit of sanding and a bit of woodwork so sweet. Right here we are back again on Thursday so it's knock back time once again I'm going to start with a fairly low grip probably around 80 then progressively up I think probably until I get about three I think I've got three sixties we'll go somewhere around there there's no point getting it to a high high polish at this point because we are still going to have to a mark up where the window is going to go and b deal with any low spots but it still needs knocking back so let's crack on Well, there's another round of fairing done because as I was knocking it back and the polish was getting higher and higher it became abundantly clear that there were way too many low spots to get any sort of useful figuring on how flat the panel was is so I mixed up another 200 mil slapped it on a little bit more selectively this time um, but obviously that's going to take a few hours to set up so while it is I'm going to go inside and carry on making the cabin steps Okay, so I'm going to carry on making these um, steps, which at this point really are a mock. If they work, then I will um, resin them, glass them, fair them, all that kind of good, funky stuff. Just to recap, we have a nice doorstep that's going to go on the aft bulkhead with uh, a rebate out of it so that we can actually, I might make that a little bit deeper later on today. Uh, yes, that would be a very good idea. So we will route that out a little bit more later. But what I want to try first is to get these battens onto the uh, onto the wedges, um, so that I can see whether or not the spacing and the angles and all that, the configuration of the steps, is actually going to be good enough to uh, climb on up and down um, because you don't want to be uh, all over the shop coming in and out. 
So I'm just going to put them together very quickly. I've got some nice reclaimed brass screws. So I'm going to drill some pilot holes and then we will see how we get on. Terrible, terrible piece of woodwork. Mm. What do I think I'm going to show my footage to my way? And we can make a decision from there. So I'm not entirely sure about those steps. So what I'll do is I'll show that little bit of video to Charlotta this evening when I get home and we'll discuss it and we'll see what to do from there. It is a bit tricky, isn't it? I'm sure there must be some design guidance somewhere. We will sort that out. But on the outside of the boat, The, uh, the fairing compound is very nearly set up and it's not massively late so I might just do a very quick little bit of sanding just to see how it is set up um, otherwise I'll come back and finish it tomorrow well unfortunately the fairing compound hadn't set up as much as I thought it had it's still a little bit soft when you press a nail into it so I will come back tomorrow and give it a right old sand off and bring some more gel coat with me. As far as the steps go, what I'm going to do actually is instead of having two, I'm going to have one step just slightly above where the bottom step is now. I think that's going to be a better match for natural cadence, which is very important obviously, going up and down and all that sort of jazz. And I need to shorten the cabin side of the doorstep and then everything I think will be a lot more comfortable and natural in terms of moving up and down. So didn't get a whole shed load of stuff done today but there we are you can't be super busy every every day but I will come back tomorrow and do a whole lot more sanding and hopefully make a little bit of progress with the steps Well, it's going to be a terribly boring day of sanding today, none of which I'm going to show you, but I will show you the result. And if I need to do any more filling, I have got my lovely spanking new gel coat with me. So there's no point putting it off any longer. Let's just get on with it. Okay, that's the sanding done down to 320 grit. I'm going to carry on with the polishing papers. The few high spots that you can probably see just peeking through with the glasses peeking through, not worried about that because there's more um, unthickened gel coat to go on as well as primer and topside paint. So it's still a lot of sanding to do, so I had better get on with it. Right, so I've just finished knocking back with 7000 grit paper and I discover that the proportion of glass bubbles that you put into your fairing compound does affect the finish. The more uh, glass powder you put in, the duller the finish. So uh, I still have a number of low spots to fill. So what I'm going to do is to mix up some more fairing compound, but this time without the wax, because what I'm going to do once I've applied that and it's set up for about three quarters of an hour, is I'm going to mix up some gel coat with wax and apply it all over. And then when we come back next week, we'll be able to knock that back and it will be a uniform finish, hopefully, he said with complete confidence. So that's the end of another week here aboard Bebop. I've got some lovely, fresh, waxy gel coat setting up on the aft bulkhead now. I'm, I'm hoping 
that that will be the last major bit of fairing that we have to do. I'm sure there'll be a few pinholes and a couple of more low spots that need taken care of, but by and large it's looking really, really good. Still haven't done anything more with the steps because I wanted to concentrate on the bulkhead today, but the steps, finishing off the basic level on this bulkhead and getting the Ford cabin sole tabs and resin in place will be next week's jobs so i hope you can join us again then please do give us a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video and don't forget you can always subscribe and why not even share an episode or two on your favorite social media platform toodaloodles